peep the Fenty face, okay? How many gloss bombs do I own? This many. Hey y'all, it's Jayla, AKA Jay Chanelli on the internet. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join almost 20,000 subscribers. It's my birthday, hit subscribe. Today I'm bringing you all of my Fenty Beauty must-haves in the form of a Fenty face, okay? So I'm gonna talk about the products that you absolutely need to pick up from Fenty Beauty and some of the ones you can probably skip, show your money, you ain't here for me though. If you're interested in this video, go ahead and keep on watching. I'm starting off by priming. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I'm gonna let y'all know right now, this is not a must have, okay? I just use it cause I have her. While this primer is definitely hydrating, I don't necessarily think I notice a huge difference in this primer. The only primer that I honestly think is a must have in anybody's collection is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. That is a primer, honey. Next, we are going to conceal with the Pro Filter instant retouch concealer i have multiple of these i own four different shades of this pro filter concealer plus some backups this is a must have this is one of my favorite concealers if not my favorite concealer ever y'all it is so creamy it has great coverage the shade selection is wide enough that i can basically do a whole face with just the concealers. So right now I'm gonna go in with 385, which is the closest one to my actual skin shade. And I'm gonna hit my hyperpigmentation spots. And as you can see, it just gives so much coverage, y'all. The next color I'm gonna go into is 350. And this is the color that I use to highlight. Now the great thing about this concealer as well is that you really do not need a lot. Y'all see how those couple dots literally carry across my whole eye area? Now we're nice and blint. Last color I'm gonna go into is my super brightening. I call it my Kim K color. And it is in the color 280. I'm literally just gonna put a light dab of this underneath my eyes to give me a super, super brightening effect. So as y'all can see, that blends out really, really nicely underneath my eyes. Next up is another Fenty Beauty must have, in my opinion, and it is the powder foundations, y'all. So I have two of them in the color 360 and the color 385. These are my normal foundations colors. If y'all don't already know, I'll go ahead and link that video above. I use my 360 color in order to set my concealer. So I'm literally just gonna go into it like this and press underneath my eyes. The rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with 385, which is more of a closer match for me, although it's a little warm. They have such a nice coverage on them to be a powder, but they also are light enough to be worn for everyday wear, y'all. So if you're someone who doesn't like a ton of coverage, you would love these powders. But at the same time, if you go ahead and do what I did and just conceal underneath, you can get a full coverage, full beat look with the powder foundations. Next up is our bronzer. Now, I do have two different bronzers from Fenty. This one is in the color Caramel Cutie. Is it a must have? Not necessarily. I'm pretty sure you can find some other bronzers on the market that work for you, but it's really nice to have in your collection and I most certainly use it. Now, I also use my bronzer as my eyeshadow. So let me go ahead and put this all in my crease and carry it back. Now another Fenty product that you can skip out on, which I skipped out on, was their setting spray. I don't even know if they sell it anymore. The last time I looked, it was on like clearance or on sale on their website and Sephora's website. So I think that means they got rid of it. But yeah, no. I've talked about some of my favorite Fenty products. This next product is one of my favorite makeup products. Ever. And it is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb Highlighter. They look like this. I own two of them, the color Royal Icing and the original color How Many Carrots, which is a beautiful silver color. Look at what it does. It gives you the most beautiful wet shimmer you have ever seen in your entire life. And this is a product that you literally wanna bathe in. A must, 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 must 
have from Fenty Beauty. Now I am gonna even use this Diamond Bomb as my eyeshadow, so rubbing into royal icing. This is what it looks like, y'all. Do y'all see that? She snapped. Go ahead and put that right on top. So those are most of the face products that I own by Fenty Beauty. I really don't own anything for the eyeshadow. I don't own the mascara, not the brow pencil, not Nan eyeshadow, not a must have for me, okay? So let me go ahead and finish off my eyes with some other products and then I'll come back to y'all so we can finish off the lips. Let's get into the product that I truly believe revolutionized the game when it comes to Fenty Beauty and that is the Gloss Bomb. So I saw Cami J Official's video on here and she recently reviewed the latest Gloss Bomb. She had me thinking, how many Gloss Bombs do I own? this many the formula is outstanding there is no other lip gloss formula that will touch gloss bomb okay can't touch it with a 10 foot pole this is actually probably one of my favorite gloss bombs the gloss bomb heat and hot cherry so let's go ahead and apply that one so if there's one thing that you buy from fenty it needs to be the gloss bomb all right, y'all, so this is our Fenty face. What do you think? I think our Pisces queen snapped when she came up with the idea of a makeup line, okay? Shout out to Rihanna Pisces gang gang. If I had to name only three products you must have from Fenty Beauty, they are the Pro Filter Concealer in whatever your shade is, the Diamond Balm, and last but certainly not least, the gloss bomb of your choosing. Let me know if you've tried these three must have products in the comment section below or any of the products that I've mentioned in the comment section below. The next video, we're gonna be tackling this hair girl. So if you're interested, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also like this video so YouTube can share with other people. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single upload and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.